Hello everyone, I'm Darcy Bono, and in this video I have both good news and bad news. The good news is the new Terminators come with a guy wielding a minigun, or assault cannon as we say in 40k terms. The bad news is that none of the barrels are drilled, so you have five barrels all next to each other, so that means if you mess up on one it's going to be very, very obvious. The other Terminators as well have twin linked weapons, which again, barrels right next to each other, meaning any asymmetry is going to be more noticeable. However, there is an easy way to avoid this. You can reduce the chance of errors and give nice crisp holes in your gun barrels by using pilot holes. Pilot holes are just pre-drilled holes in a surface that give the drill bit something to bite into so it's not sliding around on a smooth surface, potentially creating a gouge. In order to make these, some people use hobby knives. I don't recommend it because you dull the tip of your hobby knife and if your blade does slip while you're making them, it's gonna slice into you. I would highly recommend using a push pin or thumbtack or whatever you hang up pin up posters with. Use one of these instead. You will have much greater control because they're made for pushing into things. You won't dull your hobby knife. And if you, heaven forbid, somehow do push through and gouge yourself, it's not gonna slice, it's just gonna poke. So it'll hurt like hell, but it's not gonna do the damage a hobby knife would do to your hand. So just carefully make these pilot holes with a push pin and you're ready for drilling. Before you actually start the drilling process, make sure to check your drill bit size just by flipping it over and the little flat part putting it against the barrel so you get an idea of what the circumference is gonna look like in relation to the edges of your barrel. And I highly recommend this particular drill. It's just a little pin vise one I found on Amazon. I'll include the link in the description because it has this cool little measuring chart so you can just hold your drill bit up to it and see what size you need, record it so you know what to use later if you've got more to do. And it's just a solid little drill with a nice grip and sharp drill bits. So as far as showing you how to drill things, it's not ideal for this camera setup. You drill things from the top down, don't come in at the side or an angle. And that being said, my camera view is top down because otherwise you're not gonna see what I'm working on. So apologies for the lack of visibility here, but the main importance of this video was to show you how to create those pilot holes so your drill bit will have something to sink into and not slide as you're trying to drill. So here is the completed twin-linked bolter. As you can see, it looks much better when it's actually painted up. As far as the minigun goes, I didn't get any actual footage of this just because it's such a fine, detailed process. I didn't want to do it with a camera sitting just above my drill hand. I didn't think it would be comfortable or as accurate as I could possibly make it, but I can tell you I did it with a 0.8 millimeter drill bit. So push in your pilot holes, use a 0.8 millimeter drill bit, and you should get nice, crisp barrels like this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something and hopefully took some of the fear out of drilling your barrels. And let me emphasize, this is not a 100% necessary process. For some reason, people online freak out if a bolter barrel isn't drilled. If you think it's more trouble than it's worth, don't do it, no problem. And honestly, if anyone hassles you about it, just tell them to go engage in Slaneshi activity with a cactus because it's your hobby do it your way. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and until we meet again, happy hobbying.